Actually, my story starts a little bit before Romania. When I found out how much it was to go to Romania, I walked up to the podium where Lou was after the information was handed out, and I handed him some pieces of paper, and I said, take these, I won't be able to go. And he said, just keep them, John. Just keep them, we'll talk about it. I said, no, I can't go, I can't afford that. He said, John, just take them, calm down, and we'll talk about it. My wife and I were going from Sunnyside Church to meet some friends, <clears throat> and I got to the truck and I slammed the door and she looked at me and she said, what's wrong? And I said, I won't be able to go to Romania. And she said, why? And I said, it's $3,000 and I can't afford that. By the time we got to our friend's house, she had instructed me to put this money aside and instead of paying that bill, why don't you put it here? And instead of paying these, why don't you put it here? And by the time I got to our friend's house, I had three quarters of it already paid. The same thing happened coming here. When I found out how much it was that I was going to be able to come down to South Africa, I was very discouraged. And then there's men like you or Brown walking around telling how easy it is to ask people for money, and I begin to dislike him very much because, <laughs> because that's not my way of, of walking up to somebody and saying, can, can you give me some money? And here's why. Most of my relations are either retired, on a fixed income, or they don't have any money and they're unemployed. If you can speak, you can sing. Join the group. Why would I join this group? Because singing is not a mission trip. Um, but uh, it's definitely turned into something a lot bigger than just traveling. This chorus goes so much further than just singing great music and traveling places. The interaction with all the guys in this chorus and with you folks has had such a spiritual effect on my life. I'm just deepening my friendship with Jesus. So who knows? where the hand of God is going to lead us next. Building a church is important, but um, I think we need to build and harvest the people that make up the church. When these men open their mouths, sing together, fellowship, it's the more we realize that we have a God-given responsibility to get our families right, to get our communities right, and to help the church grow. I had barely started putting away some money that I was going to work on. I went one night to get my hair cut from my niece. And before I had gone there, I had thought, how do I walk up to somebody and say, can I have some money? It, it's not John Hathaway, I can't do that. So I sat down in the chair and she started cutting my hair and we started talking about her dad who was my brother and we missed him and the conversation went on and on and she said, so what's going on? And I go, well, my men's course is headed to South Africa. She said, Uncle John, are you going to South Africa? And I said, I don't know because I'm not able to raise the money. I don't think. She said, she asked the question that you were always said to ask. Are you doing fundraiser? It came from her, not from me. And unashamedly, I said, yeah, we are. I'm selling apples, I'm doing this. And she said, well, are you doing anything else? And I said, yes, there is a way that you can, that I can give you a form that you can give some money and you can get a tax return. And she says, I want some. Uh, and I'm really beginning to get scared because now she's really pushing me and I'm beginning to sweat. And I said, 
okay, Tammy, um, I will bring you some tonight uh, after the, my rehearsal, and when do you go to bed? She says, oh, 10 or 11 o'clock, so I couldn't get out of that one. I said, okay, I'll come about 9 o'clock and give you these pieces of paper. I was rather apprehensive during practice because I didn't know if this young lady, what this young lady was going to do. But what turned out is she turned out doing for me what I couldn't do. And that was give to people that could afford to donate to my trip to Africa. And before I knew it, she had given to family members that I hesitated to give to. And when I talked to her later, she says, I just gave it to Davy and says, you've got to send him some money. He wants to go to South Africa. <laughs> and yes, he gave quite a donation.